All right, so we're looking at our second example now for understanding the federal taxes you might pay on an annual income. In the last example, we looked at uh, $32,200 for an annual income. Let's just raise that a little bit. Uh, let's go to 112200 So we're going to raise the salary so we can see a little bit more about how these brackets work. So 112200 So you have this as your gross income. What do you do to figure out the amount of taxes you'll be paying? Well, we talked about in the last video that the first thing you might do is look at um, your standard deduction, the amount that the government will not tax you. We're taking a standard deduction of 12200 Right, I'm picking a nice gross income here so it will cancel nicely. You can see how this works. And that's our standard deduction. So the government won't touch this amount right here. Okay. And then what's left over is your taxable income. That's $100,000. That's this number right here. So this is called your taxable income. And in this video, when we look at federal taxes, right, we're calculating from that taxable income how much are you actually going to be paying. Okay, the first thing to think about is what bracket, what tax bracket am I in? And in this case, you might notice we're fitting right here in the 24,000, 24% uh, bracket. That bracket includes uh, salary ranges from 84,000 to over 160,000, and these are our taxable income numbers here. So our taxable income number fits right in this bracket. Okay, so first of all, what do we do? Well, the first thing to think about is, well, this 24%, right? 24%, which is equal to 0.24. We're taking 24%, which is 0.24, of the amount that our taxable income is over the bottom of this bracket right here. Now, the bottom of the bracket, think of it actually as 84,200. And that number, 84,200, right, it's $1 lower than this number here because this 24% bracket is actually starting at a dollar past 84,200. So here, we're paying 24%, right, but we're only paying 24% on the margin that our, our annual income, our taxable income, excuse me, is within this single range right here. Then as we move down to our next bracket right here. Let me erase this little smudge that bothers me a little bit. Okay. Um, but then I erase the thing I need to. Okay, there we go. Um, the next thing we're looking at, what we're trying to calculate right here is how much in total we're paying in taxes. We're paying 22% of all the money we have that fits in this range right here, which is from 84200 all the way down to 39000 475. In other words, all the money we have above 39,475 but less than 84,200. Okay. And then finally, I'm just adding up this big equation right here. We have 0.12, which is 12%. So we had 24%, then our next tax rate, our next tax margin, excuse me, is 22%. And working our way down, now we have 12%. 12% is 0 0.12. And then we're going to go down to 10%, which is um, 0 0.1. So 10% here, I'll write all those percents out, is 0 0.1. So we're taking 12% of our next margin over here. And in our case, it's all of the money between that we have between 39475 well, taxable income, and 9700 and then last, 10% of our last margin right here, 10% of that amount, which is 9,700 minus zero. And that's 10% of that. I'm going to move this over here and write 10%. So putting all these pieces together, and this will be the amount we're paying in federal taxes. So let's calculate that. All right, so 0.24 times 100,000 to three minus, we're getting there, 84,200. And there are many programs that do this. We're gonna review those and create our own, but here we're just doing it manually on the calculator, at least a couple of times to get a sense of this, times 84,000 
minus 39,475 plus 0 0.12, 12% of 39,475 minus 9,700. And then finally, plus 0.1 or 10% of just 9,700 minus zero, which is 9,700. Okay, and then we hit enter. And this is our taxes right here, 18130.5. So, one eight one, I believe it was, yes, three, three zero point five. So this right here is the amount of taxes that we're paying. So these are our taxes to the federal government. Now, it's really hard, I think, for me to keep track of all the stuff that's happening here in this equation. And, and like, I want to know what's a quick check. And one thing you can check with these number brackets right here is that if you add them all up, you should always get your taxable income because essentially your taxable income of 100,000 is being broken down into pieces and we're paying a percentage on each of those pieces. So they should add up to 100,000. So let's just test that. Let's see if that works. So if we do 100,000 minus 84,200, Okay, it's our first bracket, plus, I'll do parentheses, 84,200 minus 39,475. And I'll do them all right here, plus 39,475 minus 9,700. And then finally, plus, the last bracket is just 9,700 because it's minus zero. We add them all up and we get 100,000. So we know we didn't lose anything there. So when you're setting those brackets up, just make sure you're careful how you're subtracting the amount. So for example, if I go right back to the first thing I did, right up here, 24%, I went from 100,000 and, uh, 100, in taxable income minus not just the bottom of this range right here, but all the way down to 84,200 because it's everything above that. All right, thanks. Hope this helped.